so many horses. They can both hold the tire. <laughs> Do you kind of think you like her? I like So Nate got the four wagons stacked that we bailed on his birthday when it was 95 degrees. And he stacked them to make sure that all fit in the wagons we had. Because we didn't have anyone to help unload and the elevator had broke that day. Um, that is fixed. And we are now working on wagon number three or four. Get them up in the barn. And that should wrap it up for the small squares this year, I believe. Ephraim's just opening up the door here, make it easier to unload. Okay. It just broke? Yeah, it just broke. I don't know where to point It kind of feels like the stairway to hell with how much warmer it gets. <laughs> the heck am I going to get out of here? Uh, there are any numbers on them? There's little white numbers the on them. Down. Yikes. Hell, it's up. So, this is Cordelia. Her previous owner said it was difficult to get a farrier out and difficult to get her feet done because she was not good for the farrier. And Kylie is coming in here. She's gonna pick up her feet and see how she does. Good girl. You're all right, honey. 
Just watch your mouth. So Kylie is working on getting the wind snarls and gunk out of her mane on the other side there. I'm just staying outside of the stall because Cordelia can be a little nervous, but I mean, look at this. She is, she's loving it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> cute. She's a good girl. So Ray's got Tudor out here and Kylie's got Manny. They're just kind of having some fun riding the boys around. They both got buttons and they're both broke. They know their stuff. So the girls have fun with them. They're gonna see if they can both hold the tarp. <laughs> Where'd you go? They're gonna see if they can both hold the tarp at the same time while riding the boys. <laughs> Tutor's like, what is this? really needs to scoop these boys up. <laughs> oh my gosh, both of you cantering while, while holding that. Might, Manny might not have that. are having too much fun today. Doesn't get better than this though. The auction is tomorrow. We have not been to an auction in quite a while. We've had a lot of horses here at the shelter and just have had no business in bringing any more in at that time. But bright and early, we will be headed to the auction. Karen, Jody, and Jared are headed over to the quarantine barn right now. There's been a lot of construction over there and before we bring any horses in, we wanna make sure there's no nails or screws or anything that could maybe hurt them um, while they're out in pasture. So let's go over there and see if we find anything. Scoping it out. Well, look, there's already this. Oh yeah, there's that. Oh, we got... Cindy wants this closed off so they can't get in there. Yeah, John said that he's got a plan for it. Okay. I think he's thinking of using the bottom doors. He'll, he'll put a couple of mailing surfaces on the inside there and then put them against it and drill them up. 
so okay. then they can't get in there. Okay. And then the, this round pen must be what we're taking the panels from. Yeah. To close off this yeah. side here. Yeah. Then all this wood here, this is left over from the lean-to. The tin, certainly, they don't Yeah, we can want. put that. Nate's always got a metal truck. We can put it in this metal truck. But that's where I brought the mule over so we can load this stuff up and these little scraps we can throw. But I'm, not, want to I'm not going to burn good wood. Keep these two by fours, but look at them. That's interesting nailing, isn't it? Yeah. That looks like my looks daughter's like ex-boyfriend. <laughs> That's how he did. <laughs> Just like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going to throw away good wood. We can use it here if nothing else later on. Okay. Don't you think? All right, what's our first step? Well, well, should we bring the mule over here and start loading what we can? Okay. Yep. And there's a screw right here. Oh, there's lots of screws, John. So we're good. Look, there's a whole pile of screws. Oh here. yeah, look at that. We gotta get all these picked up. Yeah, we do. There's piles of screws over oh. here. Maybe let's see if anybody has a a metal detector thing. Or like a yeah, a metal yeah. detector, a giant yeah. magnet. Yeah. A motorcycle? Who's? Nate's. Nate's? Why is it in here? Bigger garage. <laughs> this, he does not get this as a garage. No. Until it's being used for horses, it's his garage. Fair enough. Well, I just found one behind this oh. door here. Never mind. <laughs> I'm the optimist. <laughs> Someone has to be. <laughs> Okay, and then she said John wants to nail these back up. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, from the looks of it, it they did pick up a lot of there. Yeah. I'm guessing we can. Maybe I should ask him if we can put these smaller ones inside. Looks like they're putting stuff in there. Yeah, Nate has his cement. motorcycle in there. Either. Yeah. I was told until it's ready for horses, it can be used for anything. Oh, oh, they better be careful what they say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah. Will you help me push this over so I can yeah. come in? This one, I think he's gonna nail up. Oh, okay. Pat said he's gonna seal it shut. So I think, I think, I don't know where he would go from. Mm. Oh. oh, just put it there. I'm not used to wearing this. <laughs> These look like burn stuff, right? I think mom was thinking that maybe be something we could put in between the cross ties over there so then like on the stock they have a door that they can just walk straight forward out of I think that's carry this up there maybe you want to just put these on top of us you all can drive it up there yeah it's pretty heavy is it heavy why should we just keep going Jody I can go okay I can go <laughs> What's wrong? Well, the mats are really heavy. All right, you take one. Drag it. Drag it. They're not all the same. Thing. Do you 
You think they'd fit on one pallet that John could move with the skid steer? Yeah, because Cindy that said would be something so about loading them easier. on the skid steer. Yeah. Would that be easier? Yeah. It would, but then I wouldn't get my exercise. <laughs> Fair enough. We won't deprive you of your exercise. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you gotta have the arm strength to get them over that fence. You don't think you could throw it over? No. I don't. <laughs> I'm having trouble just lifting them, never mind throwing them. Guys, just gonna throw that on the burn pile there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's not much use for that stuff anymore. I don't know if I've seen a nastier pellet. <laughs> Me either. So Ashley from Marquardt Motors just dropped off the banner that they have asked us to put up um, for sponsoring the X-ray machine. Uh, so we're gonna get this put up as soon as Nate and Cindy get back from Tennessee and get some horses X-rayed. So while I was gone getting lunch, the volunteers finished up over in the quarantine paddocks, getting those all cleaned up. And right now, Kylie and Ray are cleaning out the tack room here. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, there's some interesting stuff in here. Yeah? Boxes. Oh, yeah. You never know. What about I mean, you never know. You never know. God. Yeah, that's oh. garbage. We're going to get this cleaned out because it needs it. Then we'll put it back together. So if you watched our last episode, you would know that the bungee on the trailer that keeps the tack door closed was breaking and it did actually finally break. So I'm gonna try one of these because that thing will fly open when we're driving. These guys are hauling away all the garbage that was in the tack room. And then they're gonna start cleaning the insides out. So Pat found these, together. yeah, they are, found these metal, I don't know, what do you call them? Searchers? Yeah. Metal. Metal detectors. Metal detectors, just not the big fancy kind. And then you see Jody's injury. Magnet. What yeah. did you do, Jody? Bee. Bee <gasps> sting. In the hay. In the hay. What hay? When we were doing oh. the bags and I like crushed it because I didn't know. Oh, well, that's what he gets. Oh, well, but I guess I got that's what stinger. you get, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right. So we put the donated, whatever it is, diaphanous clay on it. Yeah. Oh. So we're going to see if it works. I guess we'll find out, yeah. <laughs> All she right. says it stings, though, it stings. that clay. We think it has salt so in it. it. Yeah. I wonder if that's why they call it. it a stinger. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I could use that drink they call a stinger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's take these over and see what we find, huh? You taking a break? Are you going to come? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any noise. So fast. How is that? <laughs> I watch these over watch the edge. So I know. Oh, I hear them. Go are you, we sure that's chicken. still coffee in her mug there? Yeah. <laughs> Orange juice. Yeah. She can make the, make the noises for us. Yeah, you guys finished it when I went to get lunch. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. The mats are all moved out. You just put the post back in the hole. Well, that works. John, put the doors back on. Oh, look. Yeah, they're just screwed in. They, keep, they don't open. Well, that's all right. If your mom doesn't want the horse to be able to get in there. Right. Awesome sauce. Boards out. All the boards. Are we going to hold on to that wood then? No, some, um, of it some, is of it, some of it's what we yeah. use for fencing. Yep, right. Put it back in there. there. Okay. Other ones that we use for nice. Big forms, and I don't know what you do with that. All right. Yeah. We could um, make some chili. We could have a little yeah. obstacle yeah. course for people that can't ride down the trail. Right. Or we can just 
watch you guys and laugh <laughs> while we sit there with our twisted feet. We can't even blame construction after We're talking about putting together possibly a Halloween trail ride. You can't hear it. I know. I looked at the bottom. Yeah, Grandma, we need your beeping. Well, yeah. I did beep for her. The sound effect. Yeah. There you go. Three. Gosh. Yeah, a rusty metal. Oh. Yeah, it is metal. Was not a metal turd. This is most fun. I feel like I'm on Lost Island. Or no, what are they called? Oak Island. Oak Island. I feel like coins. Jeez. This is the most fun we've had all day. Well, now we should pick this up. It could be oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, it was worth it, right? That's there. a new yeah, one, too. That's a so, new one. yep. Good. All right, well, we'll get all the pieces oh, of metal picked up, one. and then tomorrow when we get back from the auction, we can put the horses in here and let them settle in. Oh, well, we hey, buddy. Yeah, like the it's a caterpillar. Look at him go. It is the morning of the auction. Marissa is getting geared up with the pamphlet and some checks. And I'm about to go out with the girls. And we are going to go grab some tack and ropes and stuff to get these horsies home safe today. Good morning, Memphis. Kylie's grabbing some draft halters and some ropes because we are going to the Nielsville sale. And it is the draft auction. Ray sucking down that coffee and grabbing some ropes and halters. These girls are going to be pulling the bumper two horse and Marissa and I will be taking the gooseneck. How do you ladies feel this morning? Uh, tired, cold, <laughs> excited. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good response. So we are at the auction. We have already seen quite a few horses here and Ray has also noticed some that have some noticeable issues. So we're gonna go try and find them.
So we're going to put this mare and the mare over there with the bum knee on the same trailer. Good girl. So now we're gonna load up our gooseneck. This guy's gonna go on first. He's the biggest. You're gonna have friends, buddy, I promise. Yep. Good oh, boy, watch your head. There you go. Oh, watch your head. Good job. There you go. Good job, guys. There you go, buddy. Good job. There you go. There we go. All right. Now we're going to get the babies into this trailer. So stinking cute. <laughs> he says, Look at me. How many did you get? Eleven. So fancy. <laughs> you got it, baby. Go, baby, go. Woo! There you go. <laughs> there you go. Come on. You got it, honey. Push the baby butt. There you go. All right, guys. Let's head back to the shelter. Locked and loaded. Woo! So we have everybody loaded up. It has been a very long day, very exhausting. There were so many horses at this auction. Um, and we are on our way back to the shelter now. Um, everything is ready and set up in quarantine. And we'll just be able to relax for the night. Thanks everybody for donating that did. And we really couldn't do what we do without all of our followers, supporters, and donors. You guys are awesome. Nate and I got back from Tennessee about three hours ago. Uh, meanwhile, while we were on our way back, uh, the girls were at the auction. And we got three trailer loads of horses. Coming back. All right, we are back, guys. You ready to get off the trailer and settle in for the night? I think so. So we're gonna pull in here. Um, Doug's got a couple in fairly rough shape, so we're gonna get him in here and backed up, unloaded first. I was, but I got to pour concrete tomorrow so I can do shit at home. Well, we really appreciate you coming and helping. Oh, no. Okay, I'm coming out. Very recently, has bad feet. There you go, honey. This one. Oh wait, no. no yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Oh my 
She just had a baby weaned this morning. Yeah. But I'm not sure it should be that big. Uh, they kept $6.99, we noticed, in the barn by herself all day. A completely separate barn than where all the other horses were sold. Uh, we can only assume that was due to her condition and her being in pretty rough shape. Yeah, we knew she would be coming through last. Um, there were about 400 horses there in total, and she had tag number 699. So we could, we assumed she would be the last horse that went through, and she was. Yeah, Ray popped out to see how many more, and she was the last one. So we waited till the very end to make sure we could get her. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, how did it go hauling your first trailer back from the auction? Good. Kept her on the road. <laughs> Who drove the gooseneck? I. Mar Me, and? Marissa. A uh, piece of cake. I thought it's easier. Yeah. Honestly. It's not bad. It's not bad. And Tess was there. I Tess appreciate that. Did you tell her your news? Yeah, does Kylie and Tess want to break the news of what else was brought back other yeah, than horses? I don't think I want to hear. We got pregnant. puppies. <laughs> <laughs> they got pregnant. <laughs> you buy the Amish. Buy the Amish. <laughs> On our own dime. Okay, they're not coming here. No. No, no they're, they're, the they're here. But... What kind of puppies? Healers. A she red and a blue. blue. Healer. I got a red healer and their brother and sisters. What did you pay? 25, 25 bucks. bucks a piece. I hate the Amish. I know. I know. They have funky legs. Actually, they're all in One of them shape. has a few cuts on the back legs. Um, otherwise, the other two, yeah, they're in pretty good shape, but. Yeah, why did they what? go for cheap then? There were just so many babies, I think. Yeah, yeah on, this, one, this one right here has some cuts on his legs. Can I get it? Come on. You don't want to get out? I'll I don't there you go. I believe that one's Morgan, Morgan or Gron. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Yeah, you can see. There you go, honeys. This one was very playful with his mouth at the auction. Come on, baby. Maybe, maybe we'll be in time for that. Right. If it's what? Something like, like a joint infection, infection, like she suspected maybe with River. Oh. <laughs> Something possibly treatable. Sure. Maybe, maybe we'll be in time. Oh, look at those legs. Yeah, he's. That's that paint. Oh, oh you're okay, right. honey. You're okay. You're okay, baby. This guy was also sold and a halter. Hey kids, getting some food in your bellies? Oh yeah, they're munching it down. Hi. I think it's a sandy cross. I don't think it's just a sandy cross. Yeah, we get very large. Oh, very what, sweet. What is, oh, Gelding. Open. This is the other standard bread. Also very large. Yeah. He's my favorite. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that's everybody. You got food and water here. So 311, the one we just took off the trailer, he went for a bit cheaper than the rest um we believe because he already had identifying marks on his shoulder the amish typically don't want horses that are tattooed or branded so he went for a bit cheaper everyone's just gonna hang out for the night get some food some water and relax Here he 
you go. <laughs> you guys have a good night, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. This little guy at the auction today, I purchased him. He was $25. Um, the cage, if you want to call it that, that he was kept in was like a chicken coop and it was full of urine and feces. And um, I ended up buying him and Kylie ended up buying one of his little sisters. And um, we're gonna give them some really good lives. The Amish do this a lot. They breed horses, dogs, cats, do everything that they think they can make a few bucks off of. Um, and when we gave him food and water today, him and his sister both acted like they had never seen it before. Uh, we suspect that they are freshly six weeks and freshly taken from their mother. Um, but we're gonna do our best to give these puppies the best lives that they could have. So we were at the auction and I found a dog and 10 minutes later we walked back out of the barn and there's these little guys and I was like... So I asked the guy how much and he told me to make an offer. So I asked 20 and he said 25. So I got him for 25 bucks and the only blue healer there was. So yeah. Amish sucks though. Amish do I mean it's good. They found a good home with you but... Horses. They don't care. The weren't very nice. They were full of poop and pee. But got them home. Got them out of there. Got them out. So we are on our way to pick up another owner's surrender. Her name is Shawnee. She's about seven years old and her owner says that she has chronic laminitis. We are gonna be there shortly to pick her up and then we'll get her back to our shelter, have Kristen and Polly take a look and go from there. Go ahead, check it out. Step up. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go, honey. Calm down, honey. So we are back at the shelter. Shawnee wants to get off the trailer. We're gonna get her off. Step. Nope, you're okay. Step. There you go, honey. All right. You ready to meet some friends, honey? She said the vet said it was chronic laminitis, but the place she had her boarded at before didn't know that she was out with the cows and eating their corn, oh. which is why she got so fat in the first place. What's wrong with the car? Did they put diesel in it? No, they didn't. Yeah. Is it going to blow up? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you put diesel in a vehicle that does not take diesel.
you're not supposed to see anything. Write this down, folks. What's he spraying on it? Spray clean to keep the, so it'll keep running, so it'll get everything once until the gas gets. So if you were to drive it with the diesel, it would destroy the engine. No, it's just running. Oh, it's not as bad as putting gas in. I think it's clearing up now. Tails is here invading the Bubba ride. Um, we got Espresso here that Brooke is gonna ride. And Manny that Kylie is gonna ride. He's one of her favorites. And V for Nate. And then there's Mary over there. It's gonna be fun. And over here we got Meg. That's from Ponytails. Lexi's gonna ride her. She actually belongs to her grandpa right now, Doug. He's in there grabbing his purse. And Brooke is pulling in. I've already seen Ariel. Um, that was previously adopted. And we'll see who else we see today. On the bubble ride. Are you nervous, Meggers? Goodness, you're fat. Got Mary here. Envy and Nate up there. Anna with her Mustang up front. One more back here. I'm getting bombarded with trees. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Okay, whoop! There's everyone back there Espresso, Tudor, Manny. Um, I can't see any others. Doing good. Envy's just gonna carry a leaf with her a bit for a while. Oh! <laughs> so we're on the bubble ride. With MV and Mary. Uh, how MV's, how is MV doing for you? Awesome. Do you kind of think you like her? I like her. Doing very good. I think she's kind of perfect for you. Yeah, she behaves very well. Even though she doesn't probably really know what she's doing, she still does a good job. So we're on the bubble ride and we came across Ariel. How is she doing today? Good. Hi, sweetheart. She says, yeah, whatever. Yep. <laughs> and here's Brooke with espresso. How is espresso doing today on the bubble ride? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. This is her first big trail ride that we're aware of. Yeah. Oh, she's doing really good. Angry mare. <laughs> huh? Archie? Archie's here too? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, I'll have to get him. So Kylie's here with Manny. How's he doing? Good. Gotten kicked a couple times. He's gotten kicked? Yeah. Have you gotten kicked? No. No, that's good. Okay. How's how's Tudor doing? He's doing good. Surprisingly really good. He's not so super forward mm -mm. like normal. Good deal. So right there, the gray. We've got Archie. How's Archie doing? Hi. Archie's Hi. being a turd. He's being a turd. Uh-huh. He'd maybe rather do, like, what do you do? Drill team or flag? Drill, yeah, drill, drill team. team and, yeah, drill team and square dance team. Square dance? Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that was fine. Yeah. Our horses are being a turd, too, and then I think they realize that we might want to be quiet because... He we got a long ways to go. Before we like, like the two mile mark, he was foaming already because he's like, "We have to go. We have places to go." I don't have time for this. Right? Just chill out, and relax, bud. Yeah, pretty much. Well, good to see you guys. Uh -huh. You too. Mama. So one of the best parts is that Envy and Mary have decided they're besties, and so they're happy as long as they're together. 
How'd it go, Nate? It was good, but I'm sore and ready to get off. <laughs> Envy was good, though? Very good. <laughs> you don't know that, Horace Mary, I promise. How'd they do? Good. You're all alive. You gotta take Figwit too though. Oh, I will, don't worry. Okay, perfect. So how did Espresso do today? She did really good. Um, lots of go. Just wanted to keep going until the end when we decided that we didn't want to go no more. <laughs> that was our first big trail ride that we know of, so. Yeah. And your first time riding her. Yeah. Yeah, you did <laughs> awesome. So like I was saying, uh, we were looking for a horse for Nate to ride for our trail ride. Um, he had not really been able to ride the last two years. Two years ago, um, I put him on my horse Princeton and that didn't go well. He got dumped off of him, um, ended up pretty sore. And then last year, um, he ended up riding a horse that belonged to a friend of ours. Um, but we've been looking for a horse for him for about three years now since he lost his horse Stas. Uh, Stasia um, that he had adopted back in 2017 or 18, I think. Um, she had been a great horse for him. He trusted her completely. He didn't have to worry about her taking off or running or anything like that because he doesn't like to do that. He just wants to walk. Um, and sadly, she passed away Christmas Eve two years ago or three years ago. And uh, we've been looking for a horse for him ever since. Um, the two of them had like a special bond. I was, we were still doing the kill pen thing at the time and she came up from Kentucky and I was still at work at the time so he was the first person she met when she got here and she just kind of attached herself to him. Uh, we tried adopting her out um, like three times and she would go to these new places and she would exhibit behavior we never had here. She was jumping fences, taking down gates, um, just being very wild, we're here, she was always really calm and quiet. We didn't even know if she was broke or anything. Uh, one day, Brianna took her out and she was awesome. And so I rode her a few times and she was great and I thought maybe Nate could ride her and he did and um, she was absolutely perfect for him. So when she passed away, finding another horse like that for him was really hard. It's taken a long time. And I know a lot of people wanted me to adopt Envy, and I adore Envy completely, but she's not really my kind of horse. Um, and when he had mentioned when we were talking about the trail ride that he... <sighs> Okay. When he had mentioned when we were talking about the trail ride that he kind of felt a connection with her, after all the weeks and months of treating her foot, um, you know, we thought, you know, maybe. And uh, we didn't get to ride Saturday of the trail ride. I just, I had an un uneasy feeling about it. Um, I don't know why, and I just felt the best not to. He was also still pretty sore, his ankle. Um, so we decided not to ride that day. Um, he did take her out on the Sunday ride, and she did really, really good. With the Bubba ride coming up, we've been wanting to go again for a while. We have not been able to go um, since we lost Stas. And with it coming up, I thought maybe let's try and be on the Bubba ride and um, decide for sure. You know, maybe it was a one-time thing that she was good on our ride. Uh, so we agreed to do that. And then if things went well, he was ready to adopt her. 
Uh, so we took her on the Bubba ride. Um, and of course she did amazing. He doesn't even mind trotting on her. Um, and so Envy is gonna stay here um, for the rest of her life <laughs> um, with Nate, so. One, two, three. I said, of course, to the horse. And smile. So we have an owner surrender here today. It is a Sunday. I uh, came in because this was the only day really that they were able to make it work. But financially they weren't able to pay the full surrender fee. So they brought a really nice round bale and we're gonna lower the surrender fee for them for that. Nate's getting that off and then we'll unload the horse. Hi, bud. Yummy grass. That's not grass. You wanna have a friend for a little bit, River? Yeah, the next day. Good job, bud. 